really going to start to heat up and see how, how good this lineup can be until the season carries on a little bit further. You got to get through April. Be patient a little bit here, which is something I never like to preach because it's not like you're paying less money to go to a game now than you will in a couple of months or a couple of weeks, I should say. But I, I think with this particular lineup, you got to be patient. You got to wait till they can click it into high gear. And I think that will happen. I'm confident that will happen. Right now is not a lot of fun. I'm not going to do what y'all think I might do, which is completely freak out, man, on how this lineup is uh, not performing or how this Phillies team isn't winning more than anything. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to hold off on that for just a minute. I'm going to hold off on that until the Phillies take what I what I believe to be the brilliant advice of a one Ricky Metallico. I will play for you what Ricky said last night on Post Game Live, and then I will give a little bit of a backstory. And I don't think Ricky got into it, but I can tell why. I can tell you why Ricky said what he said last night. And let me just preface this by saying, Ricky Metallico, I love. I absolutely love Ricky Metallico. He and I used to have. Uh, I used to make. We used, I used to make him espresso. We had a little uh, espresso uh, thing at a little espresso machine at uh, uh, NBC. We called it uh, Cafe de Nona, and we'd have espresso. We talk baseball. It's great, or whatever else. Uh, here's Ricky Bo last night after the Phillies six to five loss to the Colorado Rockies uh, in Colorado. This, this only the first, only the first blown save for the Phillies this season. I, I, how do you get mad at that? You can't yet, but I'm fed up watching this team lose in all different ways. One day they don't hit, one day they don't hit and don't pitch. One day they they don't pitch well. It's a mix of everything. They 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 seriously need to take ser have one of those team dinners and go get go drink or something because you need to come together. <laughs> go get hammered. Pass around the Jack Daniels. Get a case of beer, or whatever it might be. But that's what this team needs. <laughs> oh, the Phillies are four and eight. It's 12 games. <laughs> yes, it's not uh, It's not the best thing in the world. It's not the most enjoyable brand of baseball. I 1,000% uh, agree. But maybe that's what they need to go get hammered. And maybe today, 420, is a day, especially being in uh, Denver. Eh? Uh, <laughs> maybe, maybe this is what the Phillies need. Just indulge in uh, some uh, performance hindering drugs as uh the great comedian uh the, 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 the jay jay black not jay no jay black is a great comedian lewis black is the one i'm thinking of everyone was talking about performance enhancing drugs what about babe ruth he had performance hindering drugs and still was amazing uh then maybe that's what the phillies need now let me give you some backstory at ricky bow's point ricky bow once told me a story and i think he told me this on the air so i'm not really this isn't crazy but in one team he was within the minors let's just say that they were going through a big uh, a big slump the whole team. They just couldn't win a game. The manager that was coaching him at the time uh, on a road trip stopped the bus or maybe it was before it was right before they left the ballpark of their latest loss. They got swept in some road series and the manager came on the bus, the player's bus with two cases of beer. And he just said, when we all get to wherever the hell they were going, everyone on this bus better be drunk and figure it the hell out. <laughs> and what do you know it stopped their slump it was something out of the ordinary it was get drunk as a team figure it out uh what is the line in vierno veritas maybe they needed some airing of grievances maybe they needed a little festivus on that bus uh then feats of strength i don't know but all i gotta tell you is it worked for that minor league team that ricky Vitalico played on so because it worked for that team ricky sees another team struggling seeing, seeing another team find ways to lose ball games go get hammered Albeit 12 games into the season, <laughs> go get sloshed and then come out of the other side. Hopefully a better ball club before they come home from this four, uh, seven game road trip. Excuse me. And hopefully we'll see a better brand of baseball uh, when the Phillies return. Zach Eflin gets the ball for the Phillies today against the Rockies. They try to salvage a win and uh, they already lost another series, lost both series on this road trip, unfortunately. But hopefully they'll uh, avoid being swept. And the Rockies, I give them credit. They're playing really well. Kron has that was a six home run of the season last night.